Hey guys, Gamer of Gamers in the Zone, and welcome to an interesting Let's Play. Um, I know I normally don't, uh, play Flash games like these very often on the channel. Um, like last time I played a Flash game off the internet on this channel was like way back when I first started using OBS, and I believe I started using like a game that my buddy the Jedi Hoyman Gamer wanted me to play. Um,. Yeah, if you're interested in seeing that, you can go back in the um, some of my older videos to find it. I believe it was on Stick Wars. Uh, but anyway, I'm on a different Flash game website right now called Armor Games, and we're playing an interesting franchise called Epic Battle Fantasy uh, by Matt Rozak or Rozak. Um, I don't know how to correctly pronounce that name. Um, and, uh, yeah, his creator name on Ar the Armor game site is Kupo707. Um, I believe this is a rather interesting game, so, uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so this is Epic Battle Fantasy, and essentially I think, like, um... I don't know if you guys played, like, the Henry Stickman games before, but I know for a fact, like, um, this game has, like, a ton of references, direct references to other games. So, Matt Rozak, um, if you look at his YouTube channel, I believe he, like, back in the olden days on the internet, um, I think he, like, he play he, like, made some interesting animations here and there, and, um... Some of them originated some of the characters he has here, um, such as Natalie over here, as well as, like, of course, his own character. That, of course, being, well, Matt himself as the main character, essentially. But from what I understand, this game has a lot of referen direct references and recognizable characters that I'm sure you'll notice real quickly as we get into this game. So I figured it was a good idea to play this game because, uh, for those of you who don't know, um, I believe at some point Google's, like, no longer gonna be supporting Flash, meaning that most likely we won't be able to play on Flash games like, uh, Flash games on sites like these anymore once this year comes to an end. So I figured, you know, a part of me had the interest in making a Let's Play series out of this franchise, and if you don't know me, I like to, as much as possible, play games in their chronological order. Um, I know I don't have to worry about too much about the third, fourth, and fifth games, because I know S Steam has, like, the third game available for free, and, like, also, like, deluxe versions of the fourth and fifth game that cost money, I'm pretty sure, but I'd still be interested in getting deluxe versions of those games, because, um... In a previous college year, I played these games on normal difficulty, and I had a pretty good time with them. I would say definitely say it's not t until the third game that things start to get interesting, but I do like to play these games in their chronological orders. And if you're interested in seeing like the kind of content that Matt has made that maybe led up to this or like some of his other things, I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel so you can check him out for yourself as well as um a link to the site that I'm playing this game on uh, if you're interested in playing this game for yourself but uh, nonetheless I suppose I should uh, quick show the credits uh, for anyone who's interested in seeing that though like I said I'll be leaving a link to this game so you can check it out for yourself but I'm very interested in playing uh, this game for you guys because um, I remember playing this game at one point and uh, playing it on normal difficulty, so I'm c coming back to it, and I'm gonna see if I can beat this game on its hardest difficulty uh, this time. So how to play, anyone who's played a turn-based RPG should find this one self-explanatory. Play completely with the mouse, select commands from the menus, and hence make the enemies die. You can use the slimes for practice. In-game help is also available. So yeah, there's um... This is the difficulty settings. Yeah, in case you couldn't tell by the weapons here, yeah. I'm 
pretty sure a lot of these weapons are supposed to be references to weapons from other games or something. If not, it could have been an original design by Matt himself. I don't know, but uh, we're going to try and play this game on epic difficulty because I'm interested in myself. So before we actually start the game, uh, we get to buy some items. We have a limited amount of cash. Uh, yeah, already there's a Mario reference with the bob on down here. But I'm gonna buy uh, mainly some useful items here, like an e some ethers. Uh, let's buy some waters of life, and I suppose it wouldn't be a bad idea to get my hands on some uh, potions as well. What else might I want here? Well, I think I, that should mostly about do it. At least from what I can tell, because I'm sure I've... Considering the previous times I've played this game, I think yeah, it'll be a good idea to have a couple of um, healing items on hand. And, uh, you know, some emergency revive items. But you'll mostly want to focus towards having some ether uh, to be able to restore that. Trust me when I say that. Because you'll be using plenty of magic... And it's not easy to get your hands on a lot of this. I will tell you that for sure. Uh, but nonetheless, let's go ahead and get into the game. There won't be another shop for a while. Spend all, all your money ready for sure. Yes. Yeah, you can tell this is a fairly old game with the font as well as the textures. Also, we're pretty much already at like the highest possible stats. So this is mainly uh, basic stuff. So right now, uh, we're only early game, so mostly we're... I'm just going to start with regular attacks. We'll get to more interesting stuff as we play it later on. Yes, yeah, so this is... I'll tell you this, if this um, game ends up like catching some attention or something, maybe I'll think about um, uh, playing some more of the games. I mainly just wanted to play this because for the possibility that I might make a series out of this and, like, play them while they're still here before Flash gets straight-up thanos out of existence. Alright, so now we have quite a few in it. Well, no, these are still regular slimes. Considering how easy it is to take them out, it's easy to just take them out turn by turn. Yeah, even on the game's hardest difficulty... These enemies shouldn't be that big of a deal. So let's get them. Alright, I think that should do it for the slimes. Uh, oh no, there's more slimes. Never mind. Well, we'll just do what we always do. We'll just keep taking them down. They aren't really doing much so far, so... It's not that big of a deal at the moment. So I'm just going to keep attacking them. Don't worry, I'll know when it's necessary to heal. As well as start activating some buffs. Okay, so now we have our first legitimate boss. Uh, as well as um, a giant slime of some sorts being commanded by... I think another reoccurring character that Matt made in his animations and stuff, which is... Uh, I believe specifically named No Legs. I believe if I'm getting that correctly. So I think now's a good time to start activating some abilities. So uh, Matt can use Drain, a uh, weak defensive attack that drains some HP. The strongest with the Blood Blade or Soul Eater swords. Uh, Wind Slash strikes all foes for moderate damage. Strongest with the so Soul Eater sword equipped. Uh, Quake hits the enemy with an Earth Elemental attack. Uh, most more powerful with Stone Edge sword equipped. Eruption hits the enemy with a Fire Elemental attack. Uh, the more powerful with the Infernal sword equipped. Sakin hits an enemy with a powerful Holy Elemental attack. More powerful with Heaven's Gate or Rune Blade swords equipped. And then Legend hits the enemy with a powerful slashes. Of course, most powerful with Soul Eater. And then for specials, we have Mog um, brings a random item, uses it on a random party member. 
useful if low on items. Uh, also sometimes appears at the start of your turn without being called. Temper boosts attack by 40%, then decreases by 5% per turn. Protect boosts party defense by 50%, wears off uh, 5% per turn. Airstrike strikes either one foe with a large bomb or all foes with several small ones. Is not affected by player stat changes. Screamer deals magic damage to all enemies and lowers their magic defense or or power by 20%. Can stack up to 40. That may be useful at times. And then power metal, metal deals magic damage to all enemies and also heals the party slightly. So this is where we can access our items that we purchased earlier. And we can also go with a variety of different swords. Because right now we have the Heaven's Gate equipped... Um, yeah, there's also the Devil's Sunrise, the Blood Blade, Stone Edge, Inferno Rune Blade, and Soul Eater. Each one having unique abilities. Right now, I think we're going to stick with the Heaven's Gate. So, let's go with... Um... I honestly don't know. I, I don't want to use a regular attack. So, why don't we try... Okay, I got an idea. I know Blood Blade absorbs HP, so I'm gonna switch to the Blood Blade. Yeah, you do use up your turn. Uh, Cause I know the Blood Blade drains HP. And now, uh, we let's go to some of Natalie's abilities. So White Magic is support base like this one, heals poison and seal. Barrier boosts the party's magic defense by 50%, fades away by 5% per turn. Heal heals one player, heal more, heals both players, a revive spell, you know, typical. More effective than Water of Life. Judgment. Um, large holy damage to a single pole, uh, foe also heals the user. And then this is Black Magic. There's Lucky Star that does random damage. Fireball that does fire damage. Uh, Glacier, Ice Damage, Thunderbolt, Electric Damage. Pulsar is um, a uh, non-elemental spell that hits all enemies. Bit of a widespread attack. Uh, she also has summons... Um, you can summon Pichu, which attacks with one of two electric attacks, either targeting a random foe or all of them. Registeel hits all foes with non-elemental magic damage and lowers their defense. Um, Kanti hits a random foe for uh, massive physical damage, sometimes uses a more powerful weapon. And then Catastrophe hits all foes for extreme physical damage, damages the user too. I think for starters... Why don't we start with... Let's uh, just try some of these out, starting with... Uh, which one may be more effective, starting with the fire attack? Just to see which one has more effective damage. Oh, yikes. That's actually much higher damage than I expected. Yeah, I thought I heard something. Okay, so I better do a bit of healing. Let's try out the heal more to do multi-healing. Okay, this is maybe a bit tougher than I expected, so... I'm gonna keep having Matt attack. And let's this time have... Uh, no, let's not defend yet, actually. Let's see what Glacier does. Will that deal more or less? That deals a similar amount of damage. Yikes, Natalie's getting wrecked. As long as Matt keeps attacking, that's okay, but Natalie's getting dangerously low on health. So as long as I keep Natalie well healed, we should be good. Alright, uh, I'm a little bit worried about Matt, so let's use the drain ability to make the drain attack more effective. And keep healing Natalie. Alright, is it still gonna do okay? Alright, keep healing Natalie. We almost got him. Keep specifically targeting Natalie. I got an idea. If he still has some health left. I'm gonna have Natalie defend this term because if it uses Oh, it used a support spell. Come on. Alright, but just keep having uh, Matt use regular attacks. 
And uh, let's have Natalie defend one more time. It's got a... Okay, I guess defending isn't a good idea. Because at this point, it just keeps healing. So now let's try a Thunderbolt, see how much damage that deals. Okay, not bad, but I still don't know if it's effective enough to do what I want to do. Yeah. I would test out the variety of abilities you have if it weren't for the fact that I'm playing on epic difficulty. Yikes. They're tearing away at their health. Okay, they gave me an antidote. That was kind of a useless item. But yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, some of its attacks might be based off what I'm doing. So I'm just going to keep unleashing regular attacks. I'm going to have Natalie defend this turn, because if it shoots at Natalie, it seems every time I have Natalie defend, it heals. But there's a reason why I want to have Natalie defend, but if it keeps... Okay, I think it keeps healing itself whenever Natalie uh, defends. So I might just have to specifically focus it on using attacks. So why don't we try it? Let's see here. Um. No, let, let, let's go with the. Well, actually, let's go with the Lucky Stark. That damage can be random. I just wanted to show you guys what that's capable of. Why does it always do that? Whatever. All right. Well, anyway. Come on, hit Natalie. And, of course, once again, it chooses not to hit Natalie. How much health does this thing have? Let me close that menu, because we really don't need that menu up. Okay, well, defending kind of did nothing there. Actually, it's getting close to being finished, so... Oh, I don't know if I want to finish it, or if I want to... No, let's finish it off. Another lucky star should do the trick. Yep. I uh, got an ether. Oh, nice. Alright, like always, I'm going to stick with regular attacks for Matt. And Natalie, Natalie needs to heal. Big time. So I'm just going to keep having Matt use regular attacks. Let's see if I can get one of them hit Mally so I can show you guys. No, not Matt. Why do they keep going for Matt whenever I have Natalie defend? I don't get it. Uh, What do I want to try? Let's try Glacier. Yeah, that did some good damage. All right. For now, I'm just going to keep having Natalie defend. So right now we're doing fairly good. We don't need any status ailments healed right now. Uh, I keep forgetting who that is. Hold on. Who is that? I think, which one was it? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Whoops. But I'm just waiting until it does a special attack on Natalie. Oh, no, wait, it's with Matt. Mog, that's what that... Oh, yeah, Mog's from, if I remember correctly, Final Fantasy. Yeah, I knew that'd be enough to finish it off. Now we have three, so let's try out... Well, for now, I think I'm going to keep sticking with regular attacks, because regular attacks have been doing well with the Blood Sword. And I'm going to have Natalie keep defending... All of them used regular attacks. None of them even bothered to use special attacks there. There we go. So whenever someone hits Natalie with a special attack, it actually restores some NP, which I think is kind of cool. All right, let's use... Um, oh, yeah, Wind Slash to strike everyone. Also, how did that not finish up the, off the one up there? I thought for sure that would do it, but I guess not. 
And there goes everything Natalie just recovered. Alright, finish him off. And for now... Okay, we saw that Glacier was highly affected. Okay, I guess we're aiming for that one. Oh, that's some high damage. Alright, I'm just gonna keep having Natalie defend. Yes! Keep giving Natalie more MP. Yeah, because it's better to have MP uh, Natalie recover MP that way instead of having to rely off um, instead of having to rely off uh, using the ethers because you only have a limited number of ethers. Okay, here's the next boss. Let's use. Well, for now, let's start by using regular attacks, like always. Oh, this thing has quite a bit of health actually. Yeah, this is where I think you might. No, it's not till later on. But yeah, this might be where we'll have to start taking the fight a little bit more seriously. Even though we're doing alright at the moment. Yeah, because I know that attack does high damage. Okay. As long as I keep attacking with the Blood Bane, though, we should be good in that field. Okay, now I might be a little bit worried about Natalie's health. So let's get a heal spell ready. D Yikes, that's a powerful attack. Alright, I think I'm considering how much MP Natalie's at. Have her start defending. Not with that attack. Alright, now I'm going to want Natalie to heal again. That is way too low of health for me to feel safe with having Natalie defend. And I think I made a good choice in doing so. Yeah, I don't need to worry too much about Matt, because as long as Matt keeps using the Blood Bane... There we go. Yeah, look at all that MP I recovered. Keep giving Natalie the MP. And we'll be good here. Well, Natalie has plenty of health now and plenty of MP, so let's use another black magic attack. Just keep doing regular attacks with Matt. I'm telling you, that, that Blood Bane Sword is strong for the time being. Now, there will eventually... Okay, that was a strange attack. I don't know what... I don't want to know what happened there. Okay, we're still doing good in that sense, so let's use another Glacier attack. No, I think I feel a little bit safe having Natalie go one more time. I think one more hit should do it. Alright, one more hit ought to finish it off. Alright, we got him, boys. Next area, let's go. Okay, so now we have a bit of a tree-based enemy. I think we'll be getting close to the point in the, of the game where we may want to start uh, taking the game a bit more seriously. This is really when enemies start getting tougher. For sure. For now, I'm still not worried about Matt. And Natalie, let's... Well, no, let's go with another fire spell just to see how much this will take. Actually, that was a pretty strong attack. Well, no, it should only take one more fireball. One more fireball ought to do it for him. And let me guess, we're going to be going up against two now. Yep. Alright, why don't we... Instead of having Matt attack, I think we're going to activate... Uh, what was it? Yeah, activate Protect to um, boost the party's defense. 
So yeah, our defense is boosted by, I think it said 40%, and then like goes down by 5% every turn. And then I'm gonna have Natalie heal. So yeah, this is when we'll have to start either around here or the next boss coming up is when you'll want to start taking the game a bit more seriously. So, nah, I don't think uh, the attacks unleashed by these enemies are worth going after. And Mac got poisoned again. Not that it's that big of a deal, since Mac can deal with these guys easily. Alright, have Natalie heal again. And... Alright, I know this next boss has some pretty powerful special attacks that I'm not worried too much about Natalie's uh, MP at the moment. Oh, uh, thanks. I didn't quite need that, but okay. But, since I barely used any NP anyway, but... I guess that was pretty nice. I'm gonna have Natalie defend just to see the... And, of course, it aims for Matt. It always aims for Matt whenever I have Natalie defend. Alright, but I suppose... Come on, I want some of Matt... Does that count as a special attack? No, it does not. Alright, let's just finish it off since we're just wasting time at this point. We got an antidote. Not very necessary, but uh, okay. Alright, we're getting quite a few of these guys now. Do no, I don't want M M Matt to defend. Uh. Alright, but why don't we um, put up a barrier spell to... Give us some better defense against special attacks. Because we'll probably want that. And I made a very good choice in doing so. And, okay, I guess it was kind of a good choice I had Matt defend this turn. And, uh, okay, we, well, we got healed, but again, not very necessary at the moment. Alright, use Fireball Spell. How many hits can they take, is the question. Actually, how much? How many hits can an enemy at full health take? Because it deals damage to, like, nearly all of its... Oh no, don't kill Natalie. Ooh, I, Natalie needs to be healed now. Heal Natalie. Immediately. Alright, I don't think we need to worry too much about Natalie's health. Well, or no, not health, the MP. Uh, barely a bit of health left there, so it takes more than... Two hits of fireballs. Nonetheless, that one's finished, leaving only one more. And then I believe we'll be fast approaching the next boss. Which, that's that'll be the part of the game where we'll really want to make sure we have our defenses up well. For sure. Alright, one more hit ought to do it. Of course, Natalie's running... Oh, please tell me that's going down. Yes! Now there was a good time for Mog to bring in a potion. Got an antidote. So this is where we'll want to be taking the game more seriously at this boss. So, first things first is what I'm going to do. Activate, of course, protect. Oh no, it was 50%.
but I'm gonna want to make sure everyone's defenses are high. I guess barrier is still pretty good. Uh, but let's see here. I think electric attacks works well on mechs like these. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Let's see, still de deals average damage and still healing good health. Alright, I think we'll want to put the barrier back up just to play that part safe. So Matt's still doing fine with that weapon, but we'll have to make sure our defenses are up there. At some point, we're going to want to focus on uh, getting Natalie's uh, HP back up. Or no, MP. But I don't think that's until, like, later on when I get my hands on something. Let's see, do we have any lightning attacks? No, I do believe... Actually, no, let's just keep going with regular attacks for Matt. But I am going to need Natalie to heal. But I know at some point this thing's going to start firing, like, its main cannon. Though I think that isn't until it gets down to half health. Actually, let's have Natalie defend. And I made a very good choice to... That didn't count as a special attack, seriously. Alright, well, let's have Natalie heal again. I always forget... I think it's around half health when it starts firing its main cannon. But at the rate we're going, it's going to take a while. Again, I don't need to worry about Matt. And... Alright, now that we're getting close to around 100... I, I think that's around... That'll be a good enough to say that... Oh no, that was a, an MP restoration spell. Oh, thank you, Mog. Why didn't I focus on getting the defenses back up? Well, I guess I don't have to worry too much about it now, but... Man, Mog came in at a good time. Yeah, I gotta get the protection spell back up. So yeah, things are starting to get a bit low there. But at least now I don't have to worry too much about uh, that going down. Oh, now it fires the cannon. Oh, what do I want to do here? We'll have Matt attack it. And have Natalie heal, of course, because Natalie needs some health now. Let's see here, it's going to fire again? No. But now I want to get the, the special attack... Um, special defense back up. Yeah, or magic defense. Because that cannon attack, I believe, counts as uh, a magic attack. And is it going to fire again? Yes. So it is a good thing I used that while I did. Yikes, that thing's attacks are powerful. Let's use another Thunderbolt. Alright, not to worry about Natalie. Let's once again have Natalie heal. Oh, what kind of attack was that? I don't recognize that attack. But I get the feeling it's about to fire its cannon again, so I'm going to have Natalie defend this turn. And I was unfortunately wrong, but it did aim specifically for Natalie, so... I guess it was kind of a good thing I did that. Is it going to... Okay, yeah, we need the, um... Protection back up at this time. Alright, and now let's have Natalie defend. There we go. That's what I wanted to do from the beginning. So I knew that power- oh, what did I just- Eh, it's probably not important. Let's 
Yeah, mainly I'm focusing specifically on defense buffs at the moment. And on not much of anything else, though. Let's get the barrier back up in case it fires its cannon again. Because its cannon attack is powerful. Even though, yeah, it didn't even do the cannon attack. Yeah, some of these bosses can be really long because they have quite a bit of health. And I know I could be doing more to make this go a bit faster, but like mentioned before, we only have a limited number of ethers, and I uh, don't want to waste my... I don't want to go wasting my MP. That's the issue at hand, is that I don't want to waste my MP. And it's because I don't want to waste my MP that I'm doing what I'm currently doing right now. Even, no matter how slow it is. Who's that going to? Nice, good move. I don't know where Mog's being extremely useful right now. Shouldn't be that many more turns till it's defeated. It's unleashing that more often now. Let's get the um, protection spell back up. I'm paying attention. You can't really pay much attention to how much percentage it's at, so I pay more attention to like how dark it looks like it's getting to decide if it's a good idea to get the defenses back up yet or not. Okay, well now I know I'll want to hurry up and get it back up. Or, well, heal first, then I'll worry about that. But, okay, heal. Because I know you both need to be healed fast. Uh-oh. Um, how much more health is this at? Okay, but I'll need to use the Heal More spell now. I need to get the barrier back up soon. So yeah, that the amount of damage that thing's dealing out is starting to get fairly high. Oh, but it's so close to being... Actually, I'm kind of have my hopes up here that that's gonna get finished soon. Yes! And we got a Max Aether. Good. Alright, break time. So yeah, now we're at the point of the game where um, our fighters are going to heal up, and in the meantime, we can stock up on some more items. So mostly, again, you don't need too much here. You just get like more ethers, more waters of life, as well as maybe some more max potions. Uh... But yeah, it's a good idea to folk to use up all of what's left of your cash because at this point in the game, um, this is pretty much the last shop in the game. So after this point, you aren't going to be coming across any more shops. So just keep that in mind. Have plenty of ethers. Have plenty of uh, revival items. I wouldn't say you need any attack boost items. Let's go. Uh, so once again, get your defenses up. That's what I'm going to focus this first turn on, is getting our defenses up. So now that we got that up, we should be good to go. Because so yeah, it's already dealing decent damage, even though like our attacks aren't even focused on them. Gonna continue to have uh, Matt doing regular attacks and continue having um, Natalie do these kind of attacks. Which attacks are more effective on these guys? Is it gonna be the lightning or something else? I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know why it randomly goes into its shell like that, but whenever that happens, just. I think its defenses are supposed to be high, so just use regular attacks on them, I'd say. It's just pretty much just free damage up for the taking. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, this would be a good time to switch to... Wait, what is that? Ooh, attack up. Well, 
That's kind of useless on Natalie, since Natalie's physical attacks is just, uh, pretty much her regular attack, so that's actually not really that useful. Though I think this is kind of the point of the game, where, well, no, not yet, because we aren't going up against that powerful of enemies yet. But at some point we'll be going up against some strong enemies that we will want to start using more of Matt's, um, MP. That it uh, will be a good idea to eventually uh, switch to a different blade. For sure. I really don't know why these guys are just staying in their shells. Because we can just keep tearing away at their health. And just... Come on, get out of your shells. Otherwise this fight's going to be a pushover. How many turns have they got? Okay, finally one of them comes out. Though too little too late. We already have one down. Yeah, a little bit too late. Cause we're all- we- you guys are already almost finished. Why is this back on? I thought I turned that off. Yeah, I would definitely say we don't have to worry about these guys too much yet. Maybe not until the next stage. But until then, uh, we're doing fine. Okay, now we got three of these guys, so... Again, uh, at the start of the battle best to get our defenses up so they don't tr pounce on us right at the start. Alright, get ready for some powerful- ooh! Oh, they better not all aim for Natalie, otherwise she's going down. Oh, thank goodness. Um, but what do I want to do to make this go faster, because... Well, I guess not much at the moment. For now, I think I'm just going to still focus on regular attacks for Matt. Because Matt's uh, doing pretty good with his weapon at the moment. Okay, good. That one went into its shell. So I don't, don't have to worry about that one anymore. I want to try some of these others. What do other ones do? Let's, how much damage does Glacier do? Okay, not as much as the Lightning... And now they all go into their shells. Again, annoyingly delaying the fight. Can I still deal plenty of... Actually, can I still deal the same... No, their defenses are decently up. But again, like... What's the whole purpose of doing this if all it is is just... Allowing me to dish out free damage? Like, pretty much, we're already at the point where we have one of them down. Alright, what do I... No, let's keep sticking to regular attacks. I still think we're doing fine. Yeah, Matt's still doing fine. Okay, they're both back out. So why don't we at this time get our defenses back up? Just to play it safe. Man. I will be honest with you guys. This, some of these fights... Yeah, the farther you get into this game, some of these fights really take a while. I do think it does get a bit to the point where it's like... I kind of just want it to be up a little... Oh, come on! Seriously? Especially with the fact that all they're doing is defending. Like, there's really no point in doing that. There really isn't any point in them doing that. Because all it's doing is allowing me to deal out free damage on them. That's right, get back out here.
Alright, only one left. And of course, if it stays defending, this'll be easy. Now, I'd maybe at least want to speed things up a little, but, um, again, I still haven't obtained any editing skills yet. I really don't know what to say, because I've said all that I there really is to say at the moment. Yet, yeah, as a reminder, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I suppose while I'm waiting on this guy, um, I suppose I can talk about uh, my first experience with this game. I remember when I first played this game, I first things first dived right into epic difficulty, having no idea how difficult this would be. Um, I remember getting about as far. Ooh, that was nice. I remember getting about as far as this, and then, um, oh boy, we're at, I think that's called Regi Regis? Alright, we're at the boss, so like always, get your defenses up. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, essentially, I believe, um, I about made it to this fight. We're about close to how far I made it on my first attempt on Epic Difficulty. Yeah, I think we will be getting close to the point where I found it best to start, um... Oh, come on. That's not who I want you to aim for. I want you to aim for Natalie. There you go. That's better. All right, fireball. Oh, yikes. Um Okay, have Natalie heal. Then let's have Natalie defend again. Cuz I believe if we're Okay, no, I wasn't lucky that time. Uh, let's have Natalie defend again. He keeps aiming for Matt. Alright, why don't we get the barrier back up first off? This the regular defenses are getting low, but we're definitely going to want to get the... Yeah, it's a good thing I did that. And then get the regular physical protection up. And have Natalie focus this turn towards... Well, no, let's go with heal more, because... Matt still has the... His own sword out at the moment. Yeah, and if they attack Matt, it's not that big of a deal, since he still has Bloodbane out. So I think I'm gonna keep having... I'm gonna have Natalie defend again to focus towards... Stop aiming for Matt! Ooh, nice. That'll prove to be useful. Do I have any... No, I don't. Just keep doing regular attacks on him. But I'm gonna keep having Natalie defend. There you go. See, that's the kind of stuff I'm wanting right there. And now, let's use another fireball. See, these are, fights are more interesting, because at least... I have to think straight on, like, where to attack and stuff. Alright, you're gonna... Okay, you used a regular attack. Not quite what I was wanting you to do, but okay. Let's cast a healing spell. And, of course, you unleash a special attack at the time. Okay, now why don't we get the barrier back up? So it's always nice to have that back up. 
Uh, don't aim for... Okay, thank you. You didn't aim for Natalie. Good. Uh, let's get the physical protection back up. Just focusing on everything that needs to keep up. You will mainly want to focus the MP towards all of the defenses. As long as he has Bloodbane out, you don't have to use Heal more very often. And luckily with the defenses up, their attacks aren't that powerful that I can just keep doing that. Actually, I'm going to have Natalie defend again. Which was a good move. And, ooh, MP restoration. Thank you, Mog. And he's close to being defeated, so let's go ahead and use a fireball at this time. And... Next phase. We have Regirock. Luckily, you keep your stat boosts. Uh, but let's get him. I know for a fact uh, Regirock will be much harder. I believe his weakness will be more towards the um, Glacier item. Yeah, because that deals some good damage. Oh, yikes, that was powerful. That was really powerful. Luckily, like always, um, it's not that big of a deal for Natalie, though. I think I'll want Natalie to heal this turn. Or you get... Oh, a ma Ooh, a magic power-up. Thank you, Mog. Oh, now Natalie can unleash some really powerful glacier attacks on Reggie Rock. What is that? Magic power up for. Yikes! They're giving me all the power I need! Um, let's focus on. Actually, let's get the barrier back up at this time. Just to play that part safe, and maybe also... Well, no, I should have probably also focused... Actually, that was a really good move. Thank goodness I did that. Thank you, Mog. Actually, I don't know why I did a regular attack there. Now that I'm thinking about it. Because if uh, Regirock does a regular attack, it's going to be strong. Yeah, like that. I don't know how that didn't do much, but we should get the defenses back up. Also, I'm not sure if you're listening to the music, everyone, but most of the soundtracks you've been listening to so far, I think, are either taken off somewhere off YouTube or, like... I don't know, if you look up the a playlist for Epic Battle Fantasy's soundtrack, you'll understand what some of these soundtracks originated from. Well, that attack is not healing as much as I remember it normally doing. Luckily, we're still... We still have decent defenses that I'm not too worried about it. Glacier's still dealing high damage, especially with the magic boost. He keeps firing that. Also, why hasn't he used his other attack yet? Because I know he has another attack other than the one he's using right now. Why isn't he using it? Nonetheless, he's close to being defeated. One more Glacier spell ought to do it. Okay, one more attack in gen- Oh, now he uses that attack. Oh, is he ba Oh, no, we got him. Yeah, it's not over yet. So, this was about the point in the game where I first got game over. So I think at this time, I think we have decent physical defenses that I'm going to use the power metal to deal um, magic damage as well as heal the party slightly. Because Natalie needs some health, and I want to focus Natalie towards restoring the um, uh, magic defense. So I'm going to use that this time. And I'm going to have Natalie use the barrier spell. Yeah, this is about the point of the game where you might... Have start using more of um, Matt's um, MP. That it'll be a good idea to eventually start focusing more towards. Um... You want to start focusing on using 
um, an MP, his MP restorative sword at some point, which I'll show you in a moment. Let's use heal more here. Oh boy, that attack. Good thing I healed well. So let's focus, let's start out by focusing on taking out uh, Regirock, because I personally find Regirock to be the tougher one. Still not too worried about my sword at the moment. Let's have Natalie defend this turn. Which was a good move on my part. Oh, uh, who's that going toward? That's going to Matt. Not exactly necessary, but okay. Actually, this might be a good time to start switching over to the other sword he has. Because his the sword that he has is highly useful at around this point of the game. So why don't I switch to it at this time, which is the Devil's Sunrise. It drains MP. Effects works with attack. Whiplash. Uh, so Whiplash like this. And Legend, this attack. So it'll be highly useful to have. And you'll see why in a moment. So... Yeah, it'll be more useful to have that on hand than what I was using before. And you'll see why. Oh, yikes. Um, so now, pretty much, I'm going to focus on using Legend. Because not only does it deal a strong attack, it also restores more NP than what we initially used for that attack. Giving us plenty of MP, and keep in mind, he also has Power Metal, which is an uh, HP restorative attack, meaning that it is extremely useful. So we can pretty much just keep using this thing to deal damage. Not as much damage as the regular attack, but still is pretty good. I'm not paying attention to how many turns have passed. Stop focusing your attacks towards Natalie. Come on. Actually, this might be a good turn to focus on getting the protection back up. And then I'll focus this turn towards the heal more spell. Okay, you focused your attacks towards Matt this time. And did that. So now, I'm going to use Legend again. Restoring a ton of MP, and then I'm going to uh, get the barrier back up in power again. Which was a very good move. So thank goodness I did that. And then, okay, what do I want to do here? Uh, let's start out by using the Power Metal, because he has plenty of MP at the moment. So that way, Natalie has plenty of health, and can focus towards healing Matt. Oh, come on, stop going after Natalie. Oh, was that? Oh, it was an MP restoration item. Good. Yeah, we're getting almost nearly all of our MP restored at this point, so it's a very good thing that Matt had, has that sword at around this point of the game. And I was lucky to get uh, Mog coming in at that time. So let's use another Power Metal. So the Power Metal does some pretty good damage, actually, and let's use Glacier on Regirock. Okay, that just happened. Let's use Legend on Regirock to get some MP back, and then use Heal on Matt. At this point, I'm sounding kind of like a broken record. I'm just trying to make sure I know what I'm doing so I don't mess anything up. Uh, why don't I focus this turn towards... Actually, let's get the defenses back up this turn. I'm never always paying too much attention to like how much defense we have. 
It's always a good idea to keep that up. Though I'm a little worried that... Okay, no, they're not attacking them both at the same time. Though that is a pretty powerful attack. Luckily, Matt's health was instantly restored. Uh, okay, obviously Natalie want, will want to heal here. Think that's gonna do anything? Alright, let's use Power Metal. Natalie is. Wait, what notification did I just get off my phone? Um, hold on a second. Oh, nothing important. Uh, let's see here. Will this be enough to finish off Regirock? Because I think Regirock should be getting close to being beaten at this point. Alright, I'm still... No, let's use Power Metal. Because I keep wanting to use Glacier. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Um... Alright, let's use Legend on Regirock. Reg... Reg Ice is blocking my view of Regirock's health bar. That's gonna get annoying. Alright, let's use another power metal. So I feel like we're so close to taking out Reggie Rock at this time. How many more hits is it gonna take? There we go. Finally. So now with Regirock out of the way, the rest of this fight should be simple. But yeah, my first attempt at um, epic difficulty, this was about the point where I got game over. Mainly because I didn't know at the time that you could raise your defenses. I don't think it was until the third epic battle fantasy that I knew it was possible to raise your physical and magic defenses in these games. So yeah, that's why. Alright, why don't I... Ooh, thank you. Okay, we'll do that. And then how about we have Natalie defend? Because it won't be long till we come across another... Yes! Give me that MP. Then I'll use another power metal. And then let's keep having Natalie defend. Or have that happen. I never like it when that happens. I get plenty of MP from doing that, so I can literally just keep doing that for the rest of the fight. And I guess I'll do one fireball. Uh, no, another power metal. Matt still has plenty of MP. We still got a decent ways to go against this boss, so... Not too worried about certain things. I don't think they'll attack Natalie again, though. Let's get the barrier up. Just keep that up high. Okay, an interesting method of attack. Though I'm not too worried about it. Uh, why don't we have Natalie defend this turn? So yes! Take that. Alright, use... No, let's use, uh, Protect again. And I think I would like to have Natalie defend again this turn. Yes! 
We're getting it, everyone. So why don't we use another power metal? And then use a fireball. Okay, her health is getting a bit low, so I think... Okay, I'm gonna use Legend. We're getting close to beating him to where it should only take a few... One or two more turns. Yeah, it shouldn't be long at this point. Thank you for healing him. Uh, let's use another Legend. Yeah, one more Fireball ought to do it. There we go. Okay, I forget what's next here. Oh, these guys. I forget what to do here. I forget what kind of enemies these guys are, so... Let's do some experimenting. First off, let's do... I don't know what I want to do. Let's try an air strike. So I don't think we've done that before, and these look like mechanical entities. I was right. They are mechanical entities. Okay. Does that mean they'll go down with electric attacks? No, electric attacks don't do much. And Nat ne Matt needs to heal. So let's let's try another air strike. That was pretty cool. Yeah, see what I mean about at this point of the game, you'll want as many, uh, um, uh, to switch to the Devil's Sunrise. Because you'll want, you'll have Matt start using plenty of MP to where it's going to be a high requirement. For sure. Oh, what attack, what kind of an attack was that? But again, keep your defenses high. No matter, even if it's just one enemy you're going up against. Keep up your defenses. No matter what. So we know that bomb attacks works well against these guys. What about, what else works against them? Does Glacier work well? Works decently. But I wouldn't say good enough to stand out. Actually, let's wait till the next wave to do anything else. So, I don't think Fireball will do anything, so let's keep using... No, not that. Why don't we keep using either Glacier or Fire... Let's keep using Glacier. There we go. What's next? And, of course, now there's three of them. Alright, activate protection. We'll want as much protection as possible. So we know that bomb attacks works well against them. I don't know what else will work well against them, so... I'm kind of in the unknown about this. Let's try out Pulsar, since we never got to try out this spell yet. Since it's supposed to deal a lot of non-elemental damage. Just wanted to see what it did. Even though it's skill sealed, what? That does not sound good, but... Just in case I can't use healing spells, let's use the power metal. Because so I think, yeah, I'm going to have to use a purify to get her skills back open. Hate it when that happens. And now Matt's skills are sealed. Great. Oh, uh, well, thanks. Even though I can't really do much of anything at the moment. Alright, so at this time, I think I'm just going to have Matt defend since he can't really do anything. Until I get uh, Natalie to purify him. Though I'll bet you they're going to use some more skill ceilings in a moment. I'd bet you at least one of them's going to use a skill sealer. Yep. And it's not a good one either. Uh, so let's use a power metal. Because without Natalie's abilities, we don't have very powerful healing spells. 
And uh, Natalie needs some health and fast. And of course her skills get sealed again. Great. And Natalie is dangerously low on health, so I think I'm going to use um, the uh, antidote on Natalie, just so Natalie can get uh, some health back up, because Natalie is desperate for health right now. Yeah, this is where you'll really want to know what you're doing. Of course, skills get sealed again. Okay, luckily Matt still has his abilities. I'm gonna try uh, using... How much health do these guys have? Because I want to see if I can take them down. Because at this point I want to start taking them down because they're starting to get really annoying. And we're running low on protection. And Natalie's down. Alright. Time to use a water of life. And why don't we get the barrier back up? We could really use that barrier. No, 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 no. Okay, it wasn't bad as I thought, but let's get our defenses back up and get healed fast. Okay, good thing we got our defenses back up. Matt's skills are sealed again. Great. Why don't we just use a regular attack? Okay, those guys are d doing fine there. Matt's the only one with the bomb ability, so I need Matt available to use his skills during this, so you bet. Come on! Why? And of course, both of their skills are sealed now. So now what am I to do? If only I could get a powerful attack going. But I can't. Because their skills are sealed. Come on, get out of here. Okay, I very much prefer that over what I was dealing with before. Actually, why don't I focus Natalie towards defending at this time? Although that didn't really do much. Okay, let's see if the Power Metal finishes them off. Oh, so close! Ah, what to do? Do I have... Natalie's skills are still sealed. I'm just gonna keep having Natalie defend. Of course, that does nothing for Natalie. Okay, good. The skill ceiling is gone. Alright, let's finish them off with Lucky Star. So I'm feeling lucky. Not much, but it's enough to finish them off. And hey, a bob -omb. Okay, a very serious boss here. Get your protection up as much as you can, no matter where it's at at the moment, and stay... This is a very serious boss, as you can tell by its design. So keep your defenses and health high for this fight. That's all I'm gonna say. Wow, his health bar doesn't even fit on the screen. That's what's really gonna let you know that this fight's gonna be tough. Ooh, okay. So we're going to that level of difficulty, huh? Yeah. This thing's tough. Actually, why did I defend when it just... That didn't even count as a... Oh, thank you, Mog. So yeah, very tough fight. So this thing has a ton of health and a ton of power. That's all I'm going to say. Hey, come on, use a special attack. Hmm. I, 
Natalie has plenty of health. I don't want to use power. Let's see, just use Legend to, to stay at high defense. And I'm just going to keep Natalie uh, in defense mode. And let's call upon an airstrike. Because I know bombs and lightning here will be highly effective. Come on, unleash another special attack. That is not what I want. Though I think lightning damage will also work well against this thing. At least I'm pretty sure. Alright, so let's call upon another airstrike. There we go, that's some good damage. Let's see, how much does lightning do? Uh, similar damage to that other boss, but not as good as I was thinking. Activate protection. So we need some protection at the moment. And then have Natalie... Okay, watch this be when it unleashes the special attack. Okay, it wasn't. But I'm just saying, like, sometimes it attacks in those kind of ways at the most stupidest times. So, you really want to keep going for the airstrikes, because that's, like, the highest damage dealing ability. Uh, why don't we have Natalie heal this turn? Or, defend. Because I get the feeling that, that uh, nothing's going to happen. Alright, why don't I use Power Metal to keep Matt at decent health? Then I'm gonna go ahead and get the barrier back up. Yeah, most of these fights get very repetitive, and wait, it rarely ever uses that attack. I don't get how. Eh, forget about it. Just focus on keeping our defenses and health high. We should have enough items to take him down. Uh, no, let's use Power Metal, because... Natalie's getting low on MP. That I want to have Natalie defend in the hopes that it eventually uses a special attack, but it never uses a special attack. Alright, let's do another high-powered airstrike. Have Natalie heal him. And then I'm going to focus on using Power Metal here, and then keep having Natalie defend. Because so I know at some point it's got to use a special attack on Natalie. That's not a special attack. Uh, this will take a while. For sure. Come on, hit Natalie. That's not who I want you to hit. Alright, get the protection back up. And then, why don't we use heal more? And just keep focusing on getting Matt's uh, MP back up. Because that isn't doing too bad of damage, as well as... Just keep having Natalie defend. So at some point it has to hit hit him. And when it does, I'll be ready. But yeah, if it gets to the point that Natalie gets too low on MP, like down to 100, that's when I'll probably want to use an Aether. Alright, why don't we use Power Metal? Because I want to use this turn to get the barrier back up. Yeah, this is a very slow process, but the point is that we're making forward progress, because we're still dealing hits to them. Yeah, like I said, these games aren't that good. It isn't really till the third game that these games start getting really good. Uh, yeah, use Legend again. You'll want the MP, trust me. Uh, 
Uh, okay, let's use an airstrike. Not as high as I was wanting it to, but okay. Come on, hit Natalie. Okay, not the way I wanted you to hit Natalie, but I suppose that works. But I really want him to hit Natalie with a special attack at some point. And not like that. Come on, special attack. Yikes. This is not what I wanted at all. Let's see here. Yeah, I think we're about reaching the, the point where I'll have to use an ether on Natalie. Yeah. Let's use an ether on her. Does that mace attack count as a... Or when it fires the mace, does it count as like a... I don't know. Okay, let's go for the an air strike. Cause that deals good damage and have Natalie use heal more. Yikes that it attacks powerful. Near full on health. What do you got? Okay, get Natalie's barrier up. So let's use let's use another legend. And then uh, get the barrier back up. Which may have been, or may not have been a good, really good thing to do right then and there. Because that was a powerful attack. It's got to go down at some point. It's just hard to tell when it'll go down. Keeps using that annoying attack. Come on, how many more airstrikes do I need to call upon until you go down? What was that? I don't remember seeing that attack before. Uh oh. Brace for beam can. Uh oh. I think we'll want to defend this turn. Within good instincts, I think it'll be a good idea to d focus on defending. Yeah. Alright, another airstrike. How many more hits does this thing need to take to go down? Actually, no. Let's focus on a Thunderbolt from Natalie this turn. So we need to focus on more on dealing damage. All right, come on. Yikes. That thing just doesn't give up. Though we're getting close, its HP is very low at the moment. Barrier is getting low. We'll want to bring the defenses back up at some point. So why not this turn we use Power Metal? And then I activate Barrier again. 
party magic defense up. Are you serious? Of course it uses a regular attack. Again, good thing we have plenty of revival items. Get that up. Heal Natalie. Okay, seriously, how are those attacks so powerful? Alright, time to bring back up the defenses. And let's have Natalie defend. Oh, now it's an attack that we should have defended on. Alright, have them both defend. That's uh, not going to do much right now, Mog. See, how many more hits do you think it'll take? It'll either take one or two more legends at this rate. Alright, one more legend ought to do it. Oh, please give it to... No, not Matt. Alright, but we got him at this point. Oh, that wasn't enough? Alright, use a Thunderbolt, Natalie. Finish him off. Finally, we got a bomb bomb. Oh boy, these things. Really gotta focus on it. I'm just gonna tell you this now. Um, well, first off, these things easily go down with a uh, Saken attack. So that's what you'll want to use on these guys. Because uh, these are basically. Yeah, they easily get taken down by a holy attacks. That's all I'm going to say for them. These guys are rather interesting enemies. That's all I'm going to say about them. Because they have the... Well, first off, they can poison you. And they can also dispel your buffs. Which is one thing that can be annoying about them. So yeah, a multitude of things that makes these guys annoying. Right there for ya, so why don't we... I wanna use ju Well, no, we have plenty of ether, so why don't we just use Judgment on them, just to show you guys this thing's power. It does high holy damage and heals, um, Natalie. Yes, yeah, so there's really no reason to have, uh, buffs against these guys. Because they'll just cancel them out like that. Hmm. Let's see here. I don't want to... I'm just going to have Natalie defend. Because... Right now I... Uh... uh don't want to waste Natalie's MP. Actually, why didn't I just focus on uh, getting rid of um, the poison on... Uh, on Matt. Why didn't I just do that? Yeah, let's get rid of that. Cause now we're only going up against this one of them. Let's get rid of that. Because it really doesn't take much to restore that. And yeah, these guys aren't powerful attack-wise. They're just kind of annoying. 
in the way they attack. Another poison attack. Yeah, that's the only really annoying attack they unleash is the poison attacks. Yeah, but you really don't need to focus too much on uh, buffs against these guys since, again, they aren't... Uh, it's annoying when they debuff you. Hmm. Let's have... Nally defend. And of course it does nothing. Okay, so there isn't really much reason to have Natalie defend at this point. Unleash that. Yeah, because I don't think Natalie will really get hit by anything here. He's mostly just debuffing us at this point. Why don't I use another Power Metal since Power Metal heals? And I can easily just use Legend to heal him. So for now, I'm just going to focus on Matt's abilities at the moment and not on Natalie. So I want to keep as much MP on Natalie as possible. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I think one more attack should do the trick. No, that barely dealt anything. Even though he still literally did nothing. One regular attack should finish him off. Oh, wow, I forgot how powerful regular attacks could restore his MP. Why have I been using Legend this whole time? Alright, so now... Why don't I use... What do I want to use? So let's use Sinkin on that one down there. And then use... Um... can never figure out what I want to do. So I don't want to waste a ton of MP using Judgment. I think I just want to keep having um, Natalie heal. Oh, that does restore a bit of something. Okay. They're focusing a lot of their attacks towards Natalie. And of course, Matt. Oh, who's getting healed? Okay. Thank you. We need, um, Natalie healed pronto. Alright, use a purify spell, because that's some strong level poison. So I think the more you get poisoned, the more that stuff's dangerous. And Matt's starting to get poisoned pretty badly. Regular attack on... Natalie, yikes. Let's use another power metal. And then use a purify on Matt. Let's go. I believe we're getting close to the final boss. Another debuff. Again, debuffs aren't worth your time, so don't do them. At least against these guys. At least wait until there's, like, either one left left in to get low on health, or, like, at a different point. Actually, no way it's a waste to use Legend on them. I don't know why I did that. But again, I'm just gonna keep having Natalie heal. And... okay, yeah. Just focus on the defense for Natalie at the moment. No, I always forget. Oh, good, thank you. Didn't quite need that, but now I can, I guess, use... Why don't I use another Saken? To do that. And just keep having Natalie heal. Okay, it's a good thing I'm having Natalie heal. Alright, and at the time, I'm just going to mainly focus on having Matt do the healing. Let's 
Mainly I want to keep Natalie as much MP as possible for the final battle coming up. Guys, I don't have any buffs at the moment. You don't need to keep debuffing me. Alright, only that guy left down there has uh, a little bit of health, so we'll be able to take him down next. Yeah, these guys aren't that much of a deal. It'll be the final boss, though. That'll be dangerously difficult. Alright, back up to full health. Let's have Natalie use Purify on that poisoning. Uh, Purify doesn't really... You don't have to worry about anything bad there. Stop debuffing me, guys. Okay, maybe it is a better idea to use a regular attack instead of Legend to restore my MP. I never thought of that. Because let me compare using Legend and using a regular attack. Actually, I couldn't quite add up the total, but they seemed mostly similar to me. I just want to be ready for the final battle coming up. Because I know we're getting close. So let's use another power metal just to stay healed. Yeah, again, I'm leaving Matt to do the healing until we get to the final battle. And then right before the final battle begins, I would like to get the defenses ready. Uh, so, you know, we'll be past the debuffs and we'll be at the final battle. So next, let's use one more power metal. Putting them up to full health. Keep having her defend. Alright, use another power metal. We're almost there. I think I actually want to have her attack this time just to take that guy down. Ah, uh, why poison? That's just going to waste my MP at this point. Come on, now. Alright, let's uh, use this turn to get the protection back up. Get our buffs up. I don't want to waste Natalie's yet, though. Because I'm betting it, yep, it ends up being a waste. Alright. Because, yeah, we're at the point where it'll only take one more hit. Uh, before the fight starts. So, I want to get my defenses ready. Alright, use protect. Alright, do the honors, Natalie. Begin the final battle. Well, actually, no. Let's have Natalie defend, because I mainly want to... No, don't get rid of the... Okay, thank goodness they didn't, but still, though, it's like... Still wanting to be ready for that final battle. So I guess I'll have him use an antidote. Have Natalie heal him. Yeah, I'm kind of wasting turns at this point. I don't know why. Let's just begin the final battle. Well, actually, I got a better idea as well. Instead of doing what I'm doing now, I could switch back to the Blood Blade. Uh, because, well, then again, I'm not sure if that'd be the best. Let me just, give me a moment to think about this. What would be the better plan? So we still have quite a few ethers remaining. 
where I personally think this would be a good idea. While at the same time, there could be some other issues. Let me see here. Um, let me see. How high are the defenses on some of these blades? Because I want to see how high they are. This one has a high defense. That one has a high... The rune blade has a high magic defense, but less physical defense. Um, I think based off the abilities here... Uh, yeah, let's go with the... Uh, the Stone Edge, because that one has a pretty good... Well, no, let's... I don't know. Because the Rune Blade seems useful for magic-based stuff, but at the same time... I know this final boss has decent power, so... Why don't we, for now, focus on sticking with the Devil's Sunrise, since it at least allows me to... Have some useful ability... Well... I don't know. Considering the abilities we have. Hmm. I'm just unsure at the moment. Let's stick with the Devil Sunrise, because that's been a useful plan so far. I just want to be ready here, but... Alright, let's go ahead and attack and begin the fight. Here we go, everyone. Behold the final boss of Epic Battle Fantasy. Uh, literally just a zombified Goku is all it is. So why don't we start the fight? So since it's zombified, I believe attacks like Seiken will be useful. So attacks like those will be strong against it. But yeah, we're at a point in the game where you might as well just go all out against it. So, yeah. So why don't I have Natalie? No, no. Let's use Judgment. No, Mal Natalie still is at full health. Let's have Natalie defend. And yeah, that was a good move. You, Like I mentioned before, keep your guard up at all times. No matter what. You can only some decently powerful attacks at times... As long as you make sure you keep your guard up high. This thing can tear away at your health quickly if you're not careful. What is that? Skill sealed? Come on now. Um... Ah. Alright, yeah, since this is the final battle, you might as well use up your items. So let's get rid of the seals on Natalie. And have Natalie purify Matt's skills. Oh, yikes, that's some strong attacks. Uh, might want to increase Protect at this time. And then go ahead and have Natalie... Let's have Natalie use Judgment at this time. So that's a pretty powerful attack. That does high level damage. Okay, let's use Power Metal. So I want to have Natalie get that barrier back up. Yeah, keep the defenses high. No matter where you are in the fight, let's unleash a regular attack to get the M Matt's MP back up. Just go all out on uh, with Natalie at this point to deal strong attacks. Trust me on this. Unleash the powerfulest, most powerfulest attacks you can. Don't hold anything back. Keep in mind, I have plenty of ethers and restoration items if I need them. Oh, that was a strong attack. Defenses are down. Big time. Alright, uh, get the protection back up. So 
So yeah, we'll want protection. Big time. Alright, not bad. Um, let's unleash another Seiken. And have uh, Natalie use Heal more. Yeah, this boss is tough, for sure. Debuffed again? Alright, we'll get the defenses back up. Oh boy. Yeah. I'm not joking when I say this fight's tough. Why don't we go with another Judgment? At this time, because he, mostly he's... He's mostly just using physical attacks, so I'm not too worried about him... Like, having anything too dangerously powerful. So let's use Power Metal here. Just to play it at least a little bit safe and get this barrier back up. Because I know he has a ridiculously powerful magic attack, de decent ways into the fight. You know, it was a good thing we did that. Actually, I probably should have focused on healing him. I'll cast a Heal More spell. Uh, oh, thank you. But why don't I at this time use a Ether on Natalie to play that part safe, and then unleash another Judgment. No, not Matt. Yikes. Why did you give that to Natalie, Mog? Natalie was the only one that didn't need that. Again, I'm not worried about magic attacks quite yet. Though I know what's going to happen at some point. Though I can't think of anything useful for Natalie to do at this point, so I might as well put the barrier back up for Matt. Oh, that was a very good choice in attacks. Um, why not? How many healing items do we have? Let's heal us 5,000. That restores me back to... It's a good thing we have plenty of max potions. We'll go take that. Yeah, I made a very good choice doing that. Let's use another... Saken there. Why don't I have Natalie defend this turn? Yeah, this guy isn't going down easily. Um... Why don't I use another Saken? And have Natalie heal Matt. Uh, and then use another Saken. We're doing pretty good so far, though. Like I said, keep your guard up big time. And make sure to use your items if necessary. Because I know of a powerful attack this guy has, and I know he's going to use it at some point. I don't know when, though. So why don't I use another Aether on Natalie? And why don't I... Let's, to play things safe, uh, heal Matt. Alright, why don't we get the protection back up? I don't know where it was at, so I'm just gonna play it safe. Yeah, as mentioned before... Do not be afraid to use items at this point, because you want to go all out at this point in the fight. And then use another Judgment. Alright, time to get the barrier back up, so 
We use Power Metal. Reactivate the barrier for Natalie. And use another Max Potion. Another Judgment. Oh, another Debuff. Great. Now is not a good time to be getting debuffed. This getting debuffed, like, pretty much wastes my turn. Which isn't exactly the best thing to happen. And there goes Natalie. Luckily, I have plenty of uh, waters of life. Alright, Unleash Judgment. Oh boy, here comes the super powerful attack. Brace for that spirit bomb. Prepare your defenses all the way. Prepare for a super powerful attack. Get ready. Cause even in defense mode and your defense is up, You'll want to be ready for that attack. So yeah, look at that. Natalie got taken down in one hit. Also, why... Where did Natalie's buffs go? I just realized that. Alright, don't target Natalie, please. Because Natalie is in a state of pure weakness. Alright, I need to focus on healing Natalie at the moment, so... Cast that heal spell now. And of course it just had to be a magic attack. The one thing I didn't focus on preparing defenses on. Yeah, the fight's getting real at this point. Uh, put up the barrier, please. Party magic defense up. Don't target Natalie again, please. Oh no, not another spirit bomb. I'm not ready for another spirit bomb. Alright, you know what? Just to save resources, I'm going to use a max potion on Natalie and have her defend. Because I don't think uh, Matt's going to be making it out of that one. Nope. Alright, and then let's cast a revive spell on Matt. Another one? Are you serious? I don't have the resources to keep putting up with these. Alright, new plan. I'm gonna have Matt defend and have Natalie use a Heal More spell. A bit different from my previous plan, but there's the possibility Natalie might survive considering the power. No, it was too powerful. I honestly don't know what to do at this point. He's becoming too powerful. he keeps unleashing the spirit bomb, which I don't know how to fight back against. Alright, now's our chance to keep attacking him again. Let's do a regular attack to get his uh, MP back up. Let's actually uh, focus this turn towards getting the barrier back up. So I think I'd like to play it safe there. Yeah, and I made a good choice in doing so. Uh, let's focus on getting protection back up. And 
then have Natalie heal. Yeah, that was a good choice. And why don't I have... I don't know what I want to do. Let's... Okay, let's use Saken on him. So we can continue hit hitting him and then use the Heal More spell. And here comes another Spirit Bomb. Oh boy. Alright, both of you defend. Good thing we're at good health. And have decent barrier power. Seriously, now is the worst time to be getting debuffed. Luckily, Natalie's back up to full ether. And no, not Matt. Alright, let's... Let's actually have Matt use a... Just have Matt use an antidote. And I would like Natalie to reactivate the barrier. At this time. Okay, good job surviving that, Matt. Now, we're going to unleash another Saken. And then, let's use a heal spell on him. Alright. I wanted to get some good hits in, so I'm going to have him use another Max Potion. And then have Natalie use Judgment. Oh, why? And of course, I just had to use the last antidote. Hmm. Alright, well, I guess this turn I'll unleash a regular attack to get that back up, and then use Purify on Natalie to get my healer back in motion. And then, okay, I think I'm going to need Matt to heal this turn. And then have Natalie use, um... Let's have her use heal more. And here comes another spirit bomb. Brace for the spirit bomb. Then I think I'm going to have Natalie uh, put up the barrier. No, it'll be better to have her defend. And she dies anyway. We're running out of revival items here. We're going to have to take them out fast. Actually, why didn't I use Judgment that turn? Alright, get the protection back up. And then, then unleash Judgment. So, uh, why not uh, talk about some things while I'm at it? I believe it... Okay, let's get some healing going. I'm going to be angry if Natalie dies. But I would like to get the barrier back up this turn. Because that barrier is getting weaker by the second watch. He's going to go for Natalie. Oh, no, he didn't. Okay. But again, it's best that we have... Well, no. Use a Max Potion on Natalie. 
and have Natalie use Purify on... Let's have him use Purify on Matt this turn. Yep, I knew it. Brace for Spirit Bomb. It's a good thing I got the barrier up while I had the chance. How much more is it going to take till he goes down? Seriously. Oh good, the thing went away. So let's use the protection. And then, of course, activate. Let's use heal more first. Okay, wait, who got poisoned? And now it... Eh, the poison isn't that bad. That I'd worry about it. So why don't I... Let's use a power metal. It won't be too long till it, it's over. But yeah, let's keep the berry up in case he unleashes another spirit bomb. And I made a very good decision. So he's about to unleash another one. It's a good thing they let you know ahead of time so you can brace for impact. But man, does it deal a lot of damage. Alright, let's... Let's actually unleash some powerful attacks on him this turn. Starting with that and then using Judgment. Alright, let's... Hmm... Why don't I focus on another Saken? And have Natalie heal. And debuffed again? It's always at not a good time that he gets debuffed. Okay, I'm not too worried about Natalie. Well, though, then again... We do need that barrier up at some point, so why don't I use a... Hmm... Let's just use a regular potion this time. Since I'm not too worried about her health, but we need that barrier back up. So at some point he's gonna unleash another spirit bomb. Or an attack like that. Alright, let's use Power Metal to play that part safe, and then use a Judgment on him. We're, he's starting to run low on health. It won't be long till he's finished. Alright, get that defense up. Hurry up and heal. Seriously? You're debuffing her again? Alright, just keep healing her. Actually, while I'm at it, why don't I use Judgment to heal her? Deal damage to him and... Take him out while I... Okay, maybe that wasn't the best idea. Because that may have costed me the game. I do not know what to do at this point. Let's use a heal more spell. So they're not dangerously low on health. And here comes Spirit Bomb while Natalie has low magic power. 
So of course, focus towards defense. I don't think Natalie will make it out of this alive, but just in case she does, let's at least defend, but that's going to be a high dent. Oh, she barely made it out of that alive. Alright, let's focus on... Let's use Power Metal. And then use Judgment, like always. Because we're close to beating him. Despite how many times he keeps debuffing us. Alright, actually, new plan. Why not this time I use Power Metal first? And then have Natalie get the barrier back up. So I think Nat we want that barrier back up. And I made a very good choice in doing that. And now Natalie is dangerously low on health yet again. Can't do much though. Let's focus on getting protection up though. And then have Natalie start out with a heal. That's too dangerously low for me to want to use judgment at this time. So yeah, let's start out with that. We're so close, guys. I don't wanna stop now. Look at how much little health he has left. Let's actually use Purify this turn. Alright, another spirit bomb? No, actually. Okay. Yeah, that's not high level poison, so I'm not worried there. I'm just gonna use a regular attack for him. Unleash judgment on him. Guys, we're almost at the end. I think a couple more powerful attacks ought to finish him off. Oh, thank you. So let's use a mixture of Saken. And then one more Judgment ought to do it. Come on! That didn't do it? Alright, one more attack ought to finish him off. Get him! Yes! We did it, everyone. Take that! I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this is actually my very first attempt, and, um, we already won. I did not actually expect to beat this on my first recording. And so the mighty warriors sacrificed their lives and much of the earth to destroy the powerful evil that was engulfing the universe. The road to restoring it. Uh, the planet will be a long and painful one, but uh, with survivors warring for remaining resources and enduring effects of extreme radiation exposure, however, a long peace awaits them someday. The end. Yeah, that's... Well, that's a game, everyone. I did not expect to beat that on my first try, but you'll definitely want to play on some of the easier difficulties first if you're going to play this game yourself. Definitely, for sure. Yeah, and then the game just resets. So I suppose before I leave, I'll uh, show a couple things here. Of course, I already showed the credits at the beginning of the video, but might as well show it again. Uh, I'm just going to leave you guys to pause here. Uh, so why don't we take a look at the gallery here? So we didn't get to look at that before. So gallery, collection of artwork, uh, next previous buttons to navigate. Uh, and I'm guessing the back button is back to the main menu, so... Uh, so it sort of gives you a detail of the characters and bosses. So Matt, um, his art's improved a bit, but the style's been exactly the same for ages. How unoriginal. I also still like swords. Oh, come on, that's not childish, Matt. I'm not sure if he still thinks that these days, but come on, swords are without question one of the best weapons. Uh, hands down. At least the most coolest looking one. Yeah, so these are, I think, like, some of the des either random designs he made in some of his, like, animations on his YouTube channel that, once again, I left a link in the description for. Um, as well as, I think, some of the other games he's made before this game as well. 
So what some of these are based off of? So this is Natalie, first appeared in as the White Mage in Attack of the Black Mages 5. So I'm sure you'll be able to find that video in some of his older videos, Attack of the Black Mages 5, and that's where like Natalie originated from. Uh, and then kind of stuck around because didn't feel like drawing characters. Uh, seems to like the cosplay. Uh, so using the mascots, of course, there's um, first remark for Attack of the Black Mages 5. You know what? I, I've already read this stuff before myself, so I think I'm just going to leave you guys to pause the video and... Because I'm sure this video is already ridiculously long. Uh, wait, Lord Canty? Oh, that's probably one of the summons. Yeah, I didn't really do much of any of the summons in the game or anything. If you want, you can try that kind of stuff out for yourself on the easier difficulties. Uh, but I was mainly here wanting to just try and beat these games on insane difficulty. Uh, Regirock, Res Regice, and Registeel. Of course, we all know what they're from. If not, it's from the Pokemon franchise. Uh, wait, pro tip, Regice has low defense and high magic defense. Regirock is the opposite. Ooh, interesting. Never knew that. Um, slimes and trees for the RPG. Uh, for that RPG feel, you know. There are no RPGs that will... Do well, yes, of course. Slimes are always the basic starter enemies. Uh, the Beholder and Eyeballs kind of reminds me of Zelda. I guess maybe like Keeses or something. Or like Hinoxes. Uh, these guys. Crab Sight. Uh, uh, this, oh, this boss, the Defender, named after the legendary arcade game doodled this guy during a systems lecture along with many other tank things and he seemed most interesting. Pro tip spam his strongest attack at low health. Yeah I noticed that he fires his cannon more often uh, the farther you get into the fight. Tank things, rejected ideas to appear in some other work someday. I have been playing Metal Slug as you may have thought. Yeah I'm sure some of this stuff you'll probably not understand unless you played some of his other games he's made around this time or like watch some of his videos uh, and then of course there's the mecha boss this guy hails from my mecha dress up game where you can make countless machines like him go check him out someday if you're not paying attention and defending when he's charged up his beam can may well instantly wipe you out for typics weak against thunder and bombs and of course goku the final boss uh, first appeared in No Name and Final Fantasy Battle, and then he died. And then he came back as a zombie several times, this time with the help of Cubone, he'll destroy the world for lols. Pro tip, it's weak against holy attacks. Yeah, I knew that already, but yeah, these are some of the designs he's taken in previous animations and games he's played. Uh, and then weapon sketches. Again, I'm just going to leave you guys to pause the video and check this stuff out for yourself. Or just take a look at the gallery yourself if you want to play this game for yourself. And yeah, I know this is probably a ridiculously old game. I don't even know if Matt would even want people playing this game these days. But I still think this isn't too bad of a game. For RPG standards, sure, it's fairly basic. Uh, but it's still pretty good. And all the direct... Oh yeah, this is if you cast a Screamer spell. Uh, but considering uh, the kind of game this was, and especially with the fact that this game got four sequels currently, with the fact that there's a fifth game, and I believe the fourth and fifth game have a deluxe game, along with two fan games, I believe, that are, I believe, technically bullet hells, in a sense. Yeah, real interesting stuff. Um, title image. Oh, that's the end of the gallery. But yeah, I know this really wasn't much, but considering how well the sequels are in this game, along with how much better the franchise gets later on, I felt like this game was worth playing before, you know, Google Thanos' uh, The Flash games. And I was having the interest of making a franchise out of this. I figured this was my chance, and I wanted to act upon it. I know this is a probably a ridiculously long video from what I normally do, but... I, I like experiment. It's always nice to experiment with some things sometime, but with that, I'm going to end this video here. Let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in seeing me play like the second game and so on and forth to see if like we actually do make a full-on series out of this Let's Play. Um, so let me know in the comments on your interest 
interests. Like I mentioned before, I'll leave a link in the comments to this game, as well as a link... Or no, I link in the description um, to um, uh, this game, along with the link to the creator's YouTube channel, so you can look at some of his animations that was the inspiration for this game, as well as like some of the other things he made, like some of the other epic battle fantasy games later on down the road. I know this was a ridiculously old game. Right now, I'm not gonna... Like, let's see, I wonder if the date's in here in the credits. It does not look like it, but yeah, go check out Matt's stuff. I'd, I'm sh I'll look up the date some other time. Uh, but with that, we're gonna end this episode here. And as always, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and click the notification bell to stay notified of future uploads. And until next time, this is the Gamer of Gamers, and stay excellent, everyone!